We've seen teams rally around coaches who are going through their own battle, most recently Kentucky football and John Schlarman. Nicholas County Baseball is having a fantastic season, but the Blue Jackets coach is doing his best to lead his team while continuing his own fight. LEX 18's Josh Berrien has the story. Let's get our heads in the game. Let's get our head in the game right now. And let's start like we did yesterday. The Nicholas County Blue Jackets are rolling. With a 22-5 and five record, they're in prime position to not only win their district, but the 10th region as a whole. I think everybody missed it last year. It made us more hungry and ready to play this year coming up. And we've just been playing good team baseball this year. Everyone looks over us as a small team, Nichols County team, and I think we, we can make some noise in the region and go win it, so it would be big for us. After not having a season last year because of COVID, the Blue Jackets face a new challenge in 2021. One that has them on borrowed time. When I was diagnosed, I pretty much had surgery the same week I was that I found out that I had a tumor. In February of 2020, Nicholas County head baseball coach Travis Sims was diagnosed with glioblastoma, the most aggressive type of brain cancer there is. I've had different coaches send me devotionals and inspirational things for me to read and I feel like those were sent to me for a reason to expand on them to send out to other people. Coach Sims has been able to live with the cancer now for 18 months surpassing the average life expectancy. Unfortunately he recently found out that his tumor has returned and the doctors are concerned. Everything on my left side is weak you know my arm my leg my eyesight because the tumor was on the right side. It's a struggle sometimes. You just fight through it. In the midst of his battle, Coach Sims still manages to attend games, keeping a watchful eye from the dugout. Even on his worst days, when he's too sick to be with his team, the Blue Jackets find ways to incorporate him in everything they do, like a surprise visit to his house for a team photo. I think it shows that we would do anything for, for Coach Sims. He said he wasn't feeling good and, and he wanted us to take pictures without him, but we weren't going to let that happen, so we went out to him and, and took our pictures together. It was nice. It warmed my heart up. You know, that's something I'll never forget, nor my family. As the season continues, the Blue Jackets will continue to fight for Coach Sims on the field while he fights for his life off of it. I have... Two boys, twin boys that are eight. I gotta see them grow up. I've played sports my whole life. I'm not gonna go down. I'm gonna go to, if I do, I'm gonna go down fighting. I'm not gonna give, I'm not gonna give up. I just gotta keep fighting for my family. And that's what I'm gonna do. In Nicholas County, Josh Berrien, LEX 18 Sports.